So I'm making this YouTube video just to explain to people how my uh, aquarium that's made with a glass head mold would have been used as a hat rack in a, in a department store to display hats and wigs and stuff. And then it has a 15 year old ficus benjamina tree with the roots grown down over the glass skull into good potting soil. It's miracle grow potting soil inside the base here. It's a three inch thick base, nine by nine inches. Every three years, this stainless steel plate is just sitting here and it's just held on with clear silicone, RTB silicone, bathtub silicone on the outside. Just take a Zacto knife, cut around the steel plate, fish a coat hanger in through the two holes and you just wiggle that bottom off. Then you take a Zacto knife and you just cut off about a third of the root mass and replace all the potting soil. You just take a garden hose and hose it out inside there until all the soil runs out. So basically there's a three inch stainless steel tube that goes up through the base of the tree so that the soil isn't anywhere near it and the fish go in through that. And uh, so once a month, there's a, there's a removable stainless steel airlift base. So the airlift system works by air bubbles in here by an air pump, rises up through, there's a stainless steel base about an inch off the bottom of it. The air bubbles up, goes through the stainless steel tube, rises up through here, goes up to the top of the glass skull and then exit down through the stainless steel tube through the base. As the water rises, or as the air bubbles rise up, it pulls water with it. So it pulls water down through. There's an activated charcoal filter system in here that has two bags of charcoal. Once a month, I change one bag of charcoal and leave the other one there because it has the good bacteria in it. You never change all your filter media at one time or else the fish will die. So once a year in the fall, I go and I buy two of the smallest fancy goldfish I can at PetSmart. They're about three quarters of an inch long and they're usually a calico and a black moor just because it gives you contrasting colors. Stick them in there, then you fill this up with water and the gravel, tip it back over and it's kind of fussy to get it filled up to the top. You gotta add water up through the bottom of this with a, either a turkey baster or a garden hose and a nozzle. It's fairly fussy to do, but once you've done it a couple times, it's quite easy. And uh, once you get it set to the proper level, it's very easy. And the only way to feed the fish is I take a piece of quarter inch uh, hard plastic tubing slide it up through this till it's right to the top and I use beta pellets that fit inside the tube blow them up they hit the top of the glass skull bounce on top of the water and then the fish eat them um, very easy to feed them you can feed them fish flakes if you want to I find it clouds the water and it gets down into the gravel and it makes a mess it's just harder to clean the tank if you feed it with the flakes and sometimes the water gets cloudy. If you use non-clouding beta pellets, the water never gets cloudy and it's crystal clear for the entire month. And then once a month, I take this entire base and uh, it's three inches thick. I just put it in my kitchen sink and fill it up with water till it's above the base and uh, let it sit there for 15, 20 minutes. Then uh, let the water drain out of the sink. And then you just, this base just goes back on here the stainless steel tube goes towards the back of the head you slide that up the two sides meet they mate together there's no space left loosen the two hose clamps slide the silicone hose up over it and tighten it up they're a permatoric hose clamp that has little washers so whenever it's tightened properly there will be no air gap between the washers basically i just use a cordless drill on the lowest setting and i've had, never had any problems or any leaks I have it in a stand and whenever it's in my house, I usually put it on a inside of a Rubbermaid container. So if it ever did have a leak at night, you'd have a gallon of water on your carpet. But anyways, if people come over or whatever and you want to display, you just lift it up out of the Rubbermaid container and it looks a lot better. Anyways, that's basically it for now. I'm going to get some fish ready and show you how it works. I'm going to put more fish in it than need to be just because it looks neater. Don't have a fit and everybody freak out that, you know, you can't have three goldfish and one gallon of water. I know that. I've kept fish for 40 years. I'm not stupid. I understand that. I'm just putting three fish in it so it looks neat for the video. Then I'm going to take it all back apart, put them back in their 100-gallon aquarium, and they'll be happy. So don't freak out. Don't leave comments that the fish will die. It's just for display purposes because it looks neater. Okay, I'm going to get all my stuff ready.